Hey everybody, I just want to again talk about this, you know, go over it and just say that, that I'm sad to know that there's actual people out there on the internet that actually hate me for everything that's happened in the past. And as time went on, like soon after what have all happened, I feel regretful. I feel remorseful. I don't mean to do the certain things that you saw me do. It was either by unintention or just plain up overreaction. Am I asking for mercy? I don't even know. It's up to you to decide. Which I'm saying is, you don't, I'm not begging for forgiveness. I'm just trying to make a point here and just say that all the things that happened in the last year and a half, almost two years at this point, or I'm really regretful for. I miss you know when a few years ago I actually could you know relax online, make friends, do all that stuff. But when it comes to certain things, and I will admit it, if you don't know, um, I am autistic, I have a, a disability, I'm not using that as anything like most people want to put it, but I'm just, I'm not using it for literally anything, I'm just saying that when you go online, when you go to certain communities and stuff, you think differently than most other do people do. And the brain, how it wires, and how you interact or how you act, it, it has a mood swing, pretty much. One moment I'm happy, the other moment I'm sad, and the other moment I'm mad. I, I literally can't help it. I have to take, you know, medicine like every day in my milk in the morning to, you know, keep me calm for the day. And I talk to a psychologist every once in a while or every uh, two to three times a year, whether it be in person or on the phone. So I want to go over a few things that's happened. I'm not going to go through everything in this video. This is just pretty much a listen video. It's not, it's a very serious video. I'm not going to be, you know, playing any content or doing anything, I'm just going to be here sitting here talking. So, I apologize for the dog barking in the background, if you can hear him. Just, just ignore that, but first thing, um, it's out of my control. It's, a, it's an animal. Dogs don't know any better, but that's beside the point. Let's just get on to a few things that happened throughout the last um, couple years. So first of all, I'm just going to go over the first thing. And from last year, last April, and that one, this the whole situation was weird where I put myself in and I made a really bad mistake. I was trying to make a post about Justin McCall. I was trying to say that I was not trying to support him. I was saying that I wasn't going to support him, but I was not going to go in, in the comments and bash on him. That's what I was trying to say, but I worded it so wrong, it came off as really badly. And a lot of people hated me ever since then. I mean a lot. But then who, who knew Justin and what his intentions were. And I'm not going to go over what he did because I don't want to get this, you know, account age restricted or anything. But all I got to say in response to that is to my past self that Justin is a fucking piece of shit. That should not have any supporters. I don't know why I made that post to begin with. I was trying to, you know... Given my opinion, or at the time, I tried to, you know, 
not hate on them, but not, you know, support them either. Like, you know, be very, you know, very low, limited, neutral on him. That's what the whole post is trying to get on about and came off wrong. Do I regret it? Do I regret everything? Do I, rem do I have a lot of remorse? Yes, I do. There's quite a few people that I miss talking to. That being uh, Racing Power 19, um, Foolish Mortal, and a couple other people. I'm still going to call him by his old channel name because I can't remember or, you know, memorize his channel name in my head, the newer one, but I, I'll just go by the older one, uh, Larson Big Fan 5, and and there was a couple other people. Everything that's happened back then, I've improved on. I've improved myself to be a better person online since that incident. Which I apologize to if you didn't know. I made a video at the time of taking accountability. But like I said, ever since then, I took accountability for my mistakes. I'm, I've improved my well-being. I've improved my self-awareness online a lot since then. And I can see the improvement. Other people can. Not all, but some. So... That brings me to the next point. Going on to the next thing um, I want to talk about was also some earlier stuff late, late, last, late in 2021 and early in 2022. So, what happened is um, in August 2021, um, I um I overreacted to a finish in an NASCAR Cup race, and someone made a video making fun of me like as a joke. I should have taken it taken it as a joke and like overreacted and made a lot of videos on him, and it brought it and it caused a lot of drama. And ever since then, late that year, I've been in constant drama with with another dude with another guy. I don't want to name names, but, and then even in early 2022, that's why I wasn't a fan of either years because it was just really stressful on me, on my part, my end. I got in, into more drama with more people, not just one, not just two, not just three, a, a couple other people and... It was just basically like that. With throughout late 2021, early 2022, and even in late 2022, there was another incident. But like ever since then, that I ever could call for, I um, I haven't made like another mistake. If you get what I mean, like huge one. But. I made a video about Lionel Cars in December 2022, and um, in the video, um, I was, I kind of mocked someone's comment or said it in another wolf, different type of voice, and it took offense to that. Even though it was trying to, it was trying to be a joke, and I caused some anger. Like I said, I was not trying to make anybody mad. I feel regretful for that, and. Uh, and I apologize about that. I really do. At the, at the time I said I wasn't going to apologize. But a few months later. I do apologize for that. And. And I'm also made a promise. To myself. To say that at the end of. For now on at the end of NASCAR races. If someone I didn't like. Wins or. Or you know. Something dumb happens in a race. I'm not going to, you know, 
give an opinion on it. So, for example, what happened with Cole Custer, where he won the the Chicago street course race in Xfinity, where where it was like two, three, four lap, five laps away from being halfway, and go like on Twitter or go on YouTube, going or ranting about it. That should show that I've got you know more respect for myself and I got and I had and I had got and done better things than, than do that so yeah and of course earlier this year um, after Atlanta um, um, I made like a post about you know how Daniel Hemrick you know I thought he wrecked wrecked um Parker Kligerman and I was just giving my personal thoughts and then that spiraled out of control and stuff and more drama ensued. It's like I just at the at that time I just could not escape away from any sorts of that stuff, which is why I've been trying to improve myself, which I have. I have done just that. I've became a better person online. You may not see it, but I'm, I want to be just like how I am in real life to people I know. Be really respectful to them, which I am, to the people in real life. And they and they love me. They really like me in real life. I just wish I could apply that to the internet. But just because, you know, my mind's so complicated and my brain's so retarded. They, due to my disability, it's just hard to, it's hard to, you know... Have the, have you know, have those exact sorts of thoughts to bring to, to YouTube or Twitter or anything like that. It's hard to me. It was like I at first it was like that, but then I've been trying to get back to that position like I once was. So that's pretty much all I gotta say in this video. Once again, like I said earlier in the video, you don't have to forgive me, but at least take this in consideration. Let me say that I, that I used to, you know, am really apologetic and really am sorry and remorseful for all the stuff that's happened. And just at least I hope you can, you can, you know, think about it over time. I'm not going to be linking anybody or adding anybody in the description because I don't want to be bugging them. Because they'll, they'll make it even worse, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So, I just hope they come across the video themselves. So, yeah. That's all I got to say. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. If you forgive me or anything. I don't know, but it's your choice. I'm not going to be begging for you to forgive me. I'm just going to let you do... Make your decision at your own pace, at your own time. Anyways, I'm going to head on out. Bye.